Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA-9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with Lieutenant developing? It's improving. I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Lieutenant. 
Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey! safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Leave get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good done. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today. Where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts have... What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Want to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long.
crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! There you are! What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. 
Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Understood. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that.
Did you get it? Nice. Hurry, get in. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Are you sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I'm like wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. 
Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. and I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. I begged Were you alone just... in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? Came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, no do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. When I Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Rent this, Tracy. For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me.
delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Uh. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed. Let's try this one. This better be... I saw the blue-haired Tracy. I, I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? They know which direction. anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. its track again.
see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Shit, we're too late. They get tossed out.
They're getting away! other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. President Warren what if it was a lie? Called for a crisis meeting or just another trap? In the White House. With the world All I know is those androids believed it. This incident could well be the until Zlatko killed them. Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast is 22 degrees, far below seasonal averages. And this cold front is likely to persist over the coming days up until... <laughs> Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. there. 
We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. 
You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. right here. You need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot who was programmed to obey orders but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together, to find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave, they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met a gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Night, Alice. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. She's very brave. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special.
step and I'll shoot. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in it. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Be our guest! The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin! Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. 
They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. <laughs> 